What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be finding out what happens when you friend or kill the Ant Queens. Now before you all hit the comment saying, I've seen this all before, it's all over YouTube, yes I know. However, I've never watched the videos nor have I done this before, so I want to see what the pros and the cons are between friending and killing the Ant Queens. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the ASL machine at the field station. As I know, there's some recipes on there for the Ant Queens. Okay, we're just going to go to a science shop. Okay, so we've got Friendship Offering Fire Ant Queen. Uh, we've got the Black Ant Queen one and the Red Ant Queen. And we've only got 319 raw science, so that's a good start. We're going to have to do some Burgle quests, I think, and quite a lot of them. So uh, let's do that, shall we? Okay, now we got enough raw science. Let's go and purchase the recipes. Okay, so we got the fire ant one, the black ant, and the red. Uh, what ingredients do we need? Okay, I think I've got those ingredients, so let's go and make those, shall we? Also, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna save it because we're gonna need to make a save so we can load back in, uh, so we can do the kill version. Okay, now that's done, let's make these recipes. Okay, so we got the juicy mushroom sandwich, the tasty toe jam sandwich, nice, and the yummy gum sandwich. Okay, we'll just wait for those to do. Those are done. Uh, we'll grab those. Okay, lovely. Uh, I think that's all we need to do the friend one. Uh, so I think we start off with the red ant hill as soon as that's the closest, and it's the easiest one to do, I think. So we'll just head over there now. And obviously, I'm wearing the red ant armor just so they don't attack me instantly, so we can try and figure out where this is. Uh, so, let's see if we can find it. Okay, we've got some new raw science here. I don't think... No, that had always been there. Otherwise, I would have collected it. Okay, I think I can hear her over this way somewhere. Ah, here we go. Yeah, this is new. Yeah, because this is where you get the bee armor stuff from. Ah, here we go. Okay. okay we'll just beat her. Okay, it's an instant gold card. And friend offering. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what those are for. It says no stealing at the moment, so I'm not sure. Okay, well she seems friendly. It's behind her or anything. So there's a looks like there's a room or something behind there, but I can't get in there. Okay then, uh I suppose we'll um offer her this then. Okay, so that must be the poison one. Okay. Okay, she seemed to like that. Baby red ant. Oh, and I got the gold card. There we go, we've got a new pet ant. I want a new mutation. Ant Ambassador. Ant Ambassador, your kind demeanor and actions, a bridge between species, have granted you a place among the ants. Hume Ant. I don't quite know what that is. Place amongst the ants. I wonder if, if I change my armor to something they would attack, does that mean that, that they won't attack me? Oh. Oh, I can take this now. Red Ant Queen Pheromone. Okay then. Uh. Not sure what the pheromone is. We'll have to go and have a look at that. Let's see if uh, the soldier ants attack me. Oh, I suppose I better put the actual mutation on. Probably would help. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Ah. Okay. That mutation looks like if you have it on, the ants don't attack you. Oh, look. There's that room again. Well, I can't get in there, so I'm not sure what that is going to be. Of course, we got pet ant from that. And a mutation and pheromone. So let's go and see what the pheromone is. I wonder if they, I wonder if, uh, is, is it three stages, isn't it? Yeah, three stages for three different queens. So if that works for the fire ants, this is definitely going to be a bonus to have. Because when you go to the upper yard, the most annoying thing up there, I find, is the fire ants, as they are absolutely everywhere. Let's just scan this and find out what this is. Ant queen scepter, red ant queen chase, and the red ant queen chandelier. Okay, so that unlocks that stuff, but it doesn't unlock the armor. So I'm assuming the armor one is probably going to be for killing them. 
Okay, well, that's the red ant one. So let's move on to the black ant queen. So uh, let's head over there now. Okay, I think we go in the lab door that's down here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Uh, I don't know what the black ants are going to do to the red ant, but we'll uh, soon see. Okay, so now I suppose it's just a case of trying to find out where she is. So I'm assuming she's probably going to be around by the assistant manager, but I could be wrong. I suppose we just go and have a hunt. Let's put a torch on so we can see what we're doing. And let's see if we can find her. Okay, so she's not down by the assistant manager. I'll tell you what, we'll go down here. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Okay, well, I suppose we'll carry on down this tunnel. I wouldn't have thought she'd be in a lab. She'd probably be actually in the, the anthill itself, I would have thought. I think that hole's new. Is this new? Ah, here we go. Okay, so we'll just peep her and get the gold cards. Okay, and then, yeah, we've got these pheromones again, so... Oh, we've been followed. Okay. Okay, well, killing them in front of her don't seem to anger her, so that's handy. What's around here? Oh. We got a lab back here as well. So I'm assuming that must be same thing. Yeah, so when we I think it, this must be when we kill her, it unlocks the uh the room behind. Now I'm still not sure how we unlock the poison because the poison wasn't on the ASL machine. I'll we'll have to have a look around and see if we can find out where that recipe is, but we'll just give her the friend one. Okay. Not sure what happens to the red ant when the baby one turns up, but Oh, there we go. The red ant just then I can't. Okay, well that's uh, my pet, but all right, well, <coughs> I've got two down here now, so we uh, click these and see what this gives us. Okay, that's the black pheromone. Uh, we got no. Oh, it's because we got all these ant eggs. Let's get rid of these ant eggs. All right, we we'll get rid of those, so we can grab that and then grab that. Is there any more? Oh yeah, there's some more here. Okay, yeah, so we can't. We still can't. Yeah, we can't get in the back there. Okay, so we're just going to, uh, we'll go to a field station so we can scan this uh, and to find out what it gives us. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, wrong machine, let's see what this gives us. Okay, so we got the, the Ant Queen Repair Tool, the Black Ant Queen Chase and the Black Ant Queen Chandelier. Okay, and again, no armor, so that must be for when you do the kill version. And again, we've got the Mutation Ant Bassador uh, unlocked to Phase 2. So the third phase, I'm pretty certain, is going to be the fire ants. And in fact, it actually says something different now. It says Humanta, whatever that means. But yes, Humanta now. So we'll move on to the uh, the fire ant hill, uh, which is going to be slightly more tricky because it's a lot bigger than the other ant hill. So uh, let's see if we can find out where that green is. So uh, we'll head over there now. Okay, now this is the one I'm not really looking forward to as I absolutely hate the fire ants. But uh, let's go. Uh, and obviously the case is we've got to try and figure out where she is first. All right, let's see what's down here. Obviously, we're going to get chased all the way around. What's this? Poison toe, uh, toe jam sandwich recipe. Uh, the poison. Okay, so this is where we get the poison. St so there must be the poison ones in the red ant hill and the black ant hill. So I'm going to have to head back there. Okay, at least I know where those are now. Sweet. Okay. All right. Well, let's carry on trying to find uh, the queen. I'm not, I think I've already been down here, haven't I? Let's go. Let's go around here. Might take a while to find her, but we will find her eventually. Nothing over there. So the problem is I don't really know my way around the uh, fire ant hill. This is the bottom of the hill, isn't it? What's down here? Oh, here she is. Okay, so the red ant and the uh, black ant hill are quite easy. So for anyone not knowing where the uh, fire ant hill, uh, fire ant queen is, it's literally down the very bottom on the map here. You just fall down to where this, uh, I can't remember what this is called, but the head of this uh, action figure here. And then there's a, a tunnel. Hang on, let me just deal with this guy. Yeah, so you just fall straight down to where this action figure head is here. And it's down the tunnel here. So that's, uh, that's made it a bit easier. Let's just peep her. Lovely. Okay. Now, looking at the other ones, there's probably going to be a room behind her as well. Yeah. Okay. And then obviously we've got the, the ant friend offering, which is going to be the pheromone of the fire ant, I would think. There's nothing else in here. Okay. So we'll just feed her. Oh, there we go. Look, so we've got the recipe for the fire ant poison now. Okay. So yeah, they, they must be in the, uh, the other ant hill. So we'll go back there in a minute. Okay. So that's her fed. And there is the baby fire ant and the raw science and level three of the ambassador okay and this gives us the fire ant queen pheromone lovely so we'll just pick this up okay so yeah so there we go we got phase three of the uh the ambassador and it's now called 
Humantist. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I think it's just a different name. So we got level three of that. So what we're going to do is now I've got that. I have got that turned on, haven't I? Yes, yeah, so I've got that turned on and we're wearing obviously something that they would normally go after anyway. We'll go back into into the, the fire ant hill and see if they attack me or not. Hey, so let's see. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be so perfect for up the top here now. I'll tell you, trying to build anything or walk around in the upper yards with these fire ants everywhere was such a pain. But now I've got this mutation on, I can walk around perfectly fine and not worry about them. Okay, sweet. Well, at least we, at least that's a, that's a definite pro. I mean, obviously, the, the only thing I think we haven't got, well, I mean, I won't know until I do the kill version. Uh, the only thing I haven't got is the uh, the armor. But that's, uh, that's not a major problem. Uh, the major problem now is I've got to figure out how to get back out of here. <laughs> I think it was up this way. Ah, here we go. Okay, so now we've unlocked, uh, well, we've friended all three of those and obviously unlocked the mutation. Uh, I'm going to go back and build the various things. Oh, we need to scan this uh, particular pheromone. I'm going to go back and uh, have a look to see what those uh, weapons and things are. So let's go do that now. Okay, so let's see what this unlocks. Okay, this unlocks the Ant Queen Staff, Fire Ant Queen Chase and the fire ant queen chandelier okay lovely right we'll just go and build these weapons and see exactly what they are okay so let's have a look okay so it only uses one pheromone for each thing we'll just make one of those okay and we've got the black ant repair tool again it uses just one of those okay and we've got the ant queen staff this one uses five there we got the black queen scepter and i still don't really know what this does so let's have a look it's got plus summon increases the hp of all creatures summoned by you Hey, well, let's go and fight something and figure out what this actually does. Oh, it doesn't seem to have done anything on that. Okay, so it doesn't seem to have done anything on its own. Maybe if I have the Mant mutation on. Okay, let's put that mutation on and go and find something. Here we go. Okay, well, I've just uh, spent ages uh, killing this orb weaver and the Mant didn't show up. So if anyone uh, knows exactly what this weapon does, apart from just bashing things on the head, please leave it in the comments below as uh, I'm curious as to what the actual purpose of this is. Okay, so we got the Ant Queen Staff. Ah, ah this is the one that uh, has the, uh, it's almost like the acid damage that the fire ants uh, produce. Yeah, this is like the acid damage. A bit like a staff, I suppose. Okay, well, that's not bad. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. I'm, I'm assuming once you level it up, it's probably more powerful, but still, that's what that one does. And then we've obviously got the repair tool. So I need to find something that's damaged. Actually, let's have a read to see what it actually says on the thing here. An exceptional tool capable of repairing buildings in a radius around the player. Okay, so if you look at the original one, that one, you literally have to do each piece individually. This one looks like it does a small amount around you. Yeah, that's an upgrade. So I'll probably uh, get rid of the red one now and keep this one on me. Okay, so that's the, uh, the friend version. So now we're going to load up the alternate save that i made uh so we can do the kill version and we know now that the recipes are going to be in the ant hills themselves so let's go do that okay so now we've loaded up the save for the kill version uh, i think we'll start with the fire ant hill um as i know where the poison recipe for that one is so let's head over there now was down here and then around this loop ah poison toe jam sandwich recipe okay so that's the poison one for the fire ant hill uh so i think what i'll do now is i'll go to the red ant hill as i'm going to assume that they're all going to be in the uh in the ant hills Okay, so let's see if we can find this uh, this one. Now, I don't think it was in the thing with the red ant cream, but we'll just double check. Okay, so it's not in with her. Here it's behind here. Nope. Okay, so it's not in the red ant hill. So I'm going to assume it's going to be in one of the labs. But which lab? That I don't know. We we'll head over to the black ant hill and I can check the black ant hill to see if the black ant poison is in there. And I'll check the haze lab at the same time to see if the red ant one and the black ant one's in that one if it's not in the ant hill. So uh, let's head over there now. Okay, so I think we're going this way first and see if we can find it. This is uh, this lab's a lot larger, so this is going to be a bit more tricky to find if it's in here. Nothing in those two rooms. There's nothing in there. I'm going to do the labs first so I can clear those, and then if it's not in any of those, then I can go to the other sections. Oh, hey! Okay, so we got the poison gum sandwich recipe. Okay, so this is the black ant queen. Okay, okay, so we found that one. That is for anyone that wants to know. It's on this ledge here, and it's on this table just here, which is just here on the map. 
So just in case anyone wants to know where it is, the Fire Ant one, you literally just run in through the Fire Ant Hill and then it's the immediate left and then you just loop around. So that's where that one is. The Fire Ant Hill is located here on the map. Uh, so now we've got to try and find the Red Ant one. So the nearest lab to me here is the Haze Lab. So I think I'll go to the Haze Lab first. So uh, let's just head over there. So let's go through here then. Okay, nothing there. Oh. oh, here we go. All right, so we got the poison mushroom sandwich recipe, and this is the red ant queen poison. Okay, so we've got all three poisons now. Uh, so we're just going to head back to the base so we can make these, or at least see what parts they need, uh, and we'll go from there. So let's head over there now. Okay, so now we're back at the base. Let's have a look to see what it actually needs to make these. Okay, so we've got the poison mushroom sandwich, which I think was the black ant no that was the uh the red ant so we can make that one ah okay so i need find me five super spider venom so i need to go and kill some black widows okay uh and then we've got the poison gun sandwich that one i can make so we make both of those but we're gonna have to go and kill some black widows in order to do this one so those are done now we can take both of those uh, but now we're gonna have to go and kill some black widows so let me get some food and then we'll head over there and do that Okay, so now we've got all the, uh, I believe we've got all the parts to make this now. Yes, we have. Okay, so we'll make that. Okay, and while that's cooking, we'll just go to sleep. Okay, that should be done now. Yep. Okay, so we've got all the poison parts. So uh, let's grab some food and some water and we'll go to the red anthill first, just because it's the closest. What the? Why is there a stink bug in it? We'll have to deal with this guy first. Okay, we got rid of him. Now we're getting poisoned by stink. I'm not sure how he glitched in here, but he did. Let's put my torch back on so I can see what I'm doing. Right, so uh, we'll peep her first. All right, well, let's see see what happens, shall we? Okay, this kind of makes me feel a bit guilty, but uh, let's uh, see what happens. Oh, my. Oh, okay, that actually, <laughs> that actually, that actually makes me feel guilty. Sorry, mate, I just killed your queen. Okay. So what do we get? We get red ant queen head, red ant queen chunks, and you get red ant queen pheromone. How much of each do you get? Five, one, and ten. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is opened up. So let's see what we get in here then. Okay, so we get a load of upgrade stuff. So is that all that's in here? Yeah. All right, well, let's break this up and then we'll work out how much we actually get from it. Okay, so from that you get 30 brittle quartzite shards. Don't get the mutation either and you don't get the pet. So the only parts you get for that is the head, the chunks, the pheromone which you get from rending the queen and 30 quartzite shots. So at the moment, I would say it's better to friend them uh but we'll go to the next one which uh we'll, i'll tell you what we'll go to the we'll go to the black ant one first and see what you get for doing that so let's head over there now okay so we're back at the ant queen or the black ant queen so we peep her get the gold card so i suppose it's the same process as the uh, red ant queen so we'll uh, do the thing that makes us feel guilty and poison her Yep, makes me feel guilty every time. Okay, let's see what we get. Black Ant Queen Head, Black Ant Queen Chunks, and the Black Ant Queen Pheromones. And we're going to assume it's the same amount. Yeah, one head, ten chunks, and five pheromones. Okay, and I'm assuming the thing behind us unlocked, which it has. Okay, let's see what we get from this uh, sturdy quartzite shards. Okay, so we'll just collect all this and see how much we got. Okay, is that everything? I believe so. So let's see how many we got. Okay, so you get 20 quartzite shards. Again, personally, don't really think it's worth it, but I'll go see what the uh, fire ant does, but I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing. Uh, so let's head over there and see uh, see what happens. 
Okay, so same thing. Uh, we'll go in, peep, and give the fire ant the poison. Okay, that's her peep. I believe it's there's nothing different in here. Give the poison to her. Funnily enough, I don't feel quite as guilty about this one. <laughs> what have we got? We got fire ant queen head, fire ant queen chunks, and the fire ant queen pheromones. Uh, and let's just check to see if it's the same amount of each. So, yep, same amount again. And it looks like the thing behind her has opened up. So what have we got in this one? We've got Supreme Quartzite. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll break this down and see how many of these we get. We've got 21 Supreme Quartzite shards. Again, in my eyes, still not really worth it as soon as you don't get the mutation. But we'll, we'll go back, we'll see the armor, see what the armor's about. And um, see what else we can make, if anything. So let's head back to the base. And I suppose we better analyze the stuff before we uh, try to make anything. Okay, so this one gives us the Fire Strategist Mask and the Fire Ant Queen Head Mount. So this one gives us the Black Strategist Mask and the Black Ant Queen Mount. And this one gives us the Red Strategist Mask and the Red Ant Queen Mount. Okay, so this gives us the Red Strategist Coat, the Red Strategist Pads and the Stuff Red Ant Queen. And this one gives us the Black Strategist Coat, the Black Strategist Pads and the Stuff Black Ant Queen. Wing. And you've got the fire strategist coat, the fire strategist pads, and the stuffed fire wing. Okay, so for this one, you get the ant queen staff, the fire ant queen chase, and the fire ant queen chandelier. Uh, for this one, you get the ant queen scepter, the ant queen chase, and the red ant queen chandelier. And for this one, you get the ant queen repair tool the black ant queen chase and the black ant queen chandelier what we'll do is we'll go up and make the armor that you get with this and we'll make the weapons as well and we'll have a look to see exactly what the pros and the cons between friending and killing the ants actually are so let's go and do that okay, we'll make the weapons first because we've already seen those okay so interesting here's something that's going to cause an issue the fire ant queen pheromone you only get five of when you kill the fire queen and so if you make the fire ant queen, well, the ant queen staff, you can then no longer make any of the armor. Uh, so if we look at the armor, the mask requires just one. The coat also requires one. And the pads also require one. Now, if you make, if basically, if you make the, uh, the staff, the ant queen staff, you're not going to be able to make the fire ant queen pieces, like the body armor. So it basically means that you can make the staff, but then you're only going to be able to make the mask. I've made the armor that I can actually make, which is just the black ant and the red ant. Now, obviously, you can make the ant queen staff. Basically, it's not really worth it. It just... It just does that. It's not what I would call a great weapon. That's kind of all it does. I mean, if we look at the thing that it says it can do, it just fires acidic goo. That's all it does. So if you are planning to kill the ants, what I would say is do not build the ant queen staff because you can get that if you friend them and build the armor instead if that's actually what you want. Now, if we look at the stats of the armor, it's a summon crit. Now, I'm assuming that means it's summon, either, either summons critical damage or summons a creature, say a fire ant i'm assuming and if you look at the other body armors you got the black armor and that's a summon stun again not really sure what that means and then you've got the red armor and that's uh that's summon aggro now i don't know what that means but looking at what you actually get for killing the queen i personally am not going to be doing that and i don't really see the point in it so i'm going to put on the screen now exactly what you get for killing and friending the ant queens for me, in my hum my humble opinion is to friend the Queen Ants because you get the mutation, which it, it, as far as I'm concerned is a massive benefit, especially if you're in the upper yard. You'll also be able to make as many of those uh, weapons. So say you're playing as a multiplayer, you'll be able to make as many of these weapons as you can or uh, as many as you want because you get the um, pheromones from the eggs that are inside where the Ant Queens are. The other thing I will say is you don't get the mutation, which means that you obviously haven't peeped the baby ants. Now, as far as I'm aware that you need, if you're trying to get the 100%, card you need to be able to peep all the creatures in the game if i go to my creatures i've still got three missing so that's something else to consider the fact that you're not going to be able to get the 100 percent unless you go to new game plus where i'm assuming you can i might be wrong if i'm wrong please leave it in the comments down below as i'd like to know but looking at the way it is now it looks like you wouldn't be able to get the 100 percent card so if you found this video helpful or you just enjoyed it please give it a like and consider subscribing but other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you next time